Squid, 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 yeah. Squid, squid, squid. What? I said squid, squid. Beedy boop, beedy boop, boop. Hi, I'm your host, Captain Wimble, and we are here to play Half Life 2 as requested by someone through my YouTube comments. And um, as many of you probably know, Half Life 2 is obviously the sequel to Half Life 1. Well, after tons of trial and tribulations, it was finally released in November 2004. Around the same time when Halo 2 came out, and so a bunch of me and my friends argued which one was better. I argued that Half-Life was better, because uh, better their physics engine, AI, and all that stuff. But granted, I was a big Half-Life fan, and all my friends were console peasants, and I didn't have a Xbox at the time. So, I was a bit of a dick. And they were a bit of a dick. We're high school kids. We're dicks. Anyways, let's get started and look at old, friendly Mr. G-Man. Half-Life 2, and hopefully we'll get through all of up to episode 2, and then maybe by the time I'm done doing that, Half-Life 3 will come out. I mean, it's been, what, nearly 10-something years? Whatever. Because Half-Life episode 2 came out 2007. So yeah, close to 10 years, short, probably about getting close to 8 years. Damn. If you notice, the uh, chamber is actually a little bit different than its Half-Life 1 design. A little bit. You'll notice it up top. Um, also, the great lip-syncing. But G-Man, you're still ugly. In the world. So... Here's the fucked up part. He told me that the HEV suit was mine, but look, I come back to the world and I don't got my goddamn HEV suit. But we do start off on a train again. Delicious train. Also, the intro is a heck of a lot shorter. Yo, what up, dog? I didn't see you get on. Yeah, well, I just poured it in from like town over. Hello. Yeah, I know what you mean. Been through a lot of relocations and stasis. I had a long, nice rest that I deserved because I saved y'all and plunged y'all into this hideous, ay, yeah, yeah, that was bright, hideous post-apocalyptic Orwellian future with um, that guy who also, oh, what's his name? He also played Bill and Left for Dead and. Sadly, he died, and I wonder if that was part of the reason why they never finished episode three, but eh, who knows. There's lots of reasons. Alright, well, let's get going. Uh, yeah, there's just the three of us. Just the three of us. Three of us, guys. Just the three of us. Overwatch stopped our train in the woods, and took my husband for questioning. Ooh. They said he'd be on the next train. That sucks. I'm not sure when that was. Did there there be nice though letting me wait for him? No. Well, that's very good. But I'm sorry to say this he's probably dead. Dead, 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 dead. You know what? You know what? You know what? Miss, miss, it's for you. He's dead. All right, closure. You can go home now. I don't. I don't think she. She. She's in shock. Just, just let her be. God, there are like wine bottles, beer bottles. Do y'all just get drunk? I mean, I would. Ooh, Chinese food. Um, another thing to point out is. This takes place in a Baltic state of some kind. Europe. But, um, yeah. It's those two guys from the train. CD-17, the, uh, base of operation for Breen, the man who surrendered the human race to the Combine. And the Combine is a massive amount of amalgamation of super... 
technologically advanced aliens that subjugate and incorporate and splice with technology race. Interdimensional race, which we kind of told them where we were during that whole Half-Life 1 Zen catastrophe. But there are theories that the uh, monsters from Zen, like the Nymph Clan, escaped and battled the Combine. That's why he's all like chained up and kind of slightly robotic and all kinds of weirdness. Or as I like to call the Nymphalum, Giant feet of space, baby. Hmm, privacy. Book on the head. About that beer I owe yeah, you. what about that beer you owe me? No shit. Dude, I was terrified. In fact, I was more confused than anything. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like you're doing too, too terrible. I mean, there's some good blood splots. I'll, I'll give you credit there. Oh, hey, there's... There's my, um, colleague, uh, Isaac. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Yeah, I probably should be okay. I, I, I really don't know. What could go wrong? I mean, I was sitting here by the G-Man, so shenanigans are going to ensue. How quickly... I don't know. I bet you they're like, wait, why did you turn off the uh, thing? There's a weird transmission. You would think they would connect with that transmission. I don't know. Combine are surprisingly stupid. Or they do know what's going on. Interesting. What if they've been monitoring us the whole time? They knew all about all of the tech, but they just kind of let it go. Just to wait. <gasps> Those clever bastards. No, you pick up the can. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Did I actually, like, get the can into the trash can after hitting it? Come on. Come on. Who's a cheeky bastard? Woo! Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, enough messing around with the Metro Cop. Wait, no. This is always fun to do. Come on. Woo! Come on. Come on, AI. I believe in you. Oh, whatever, you gave up. <sighs> oh. I like your uh, ration. Oh, hey, what's up? You guys know... I thought I'd seen them before. Pigeon. I like how the pigeons are actually um, NPCs. Yeah, I don't want... No, you go away. You go away. But this is kind of how you can tell that it's Baltic. This it says Cafe Baltic. I don't. I think that's it. But there's also like other kind of stuff that looks Eastern European, um, besides the architecture. But the idea, or at least the theory idea, is the fact that they move people around constantly to disorientate them, so they can't really build up factions. Um, to keep them suppressed, and also they suppress our, um, what's that called, breeding field. They have a suppression on our reproductiveness, which kind of makes you wonder how that works. Is it, does it just stop the urge and make everyone impotent, or does it actually stop, like, sperm cell growth, does it make everyone sterile? Hey, what's up? And that's actually one of the creepier parts right here, because when you walk in here, you hear giggling, and they're like, <laughs> just like, oh god, children. No more children in this world. The world's terrible. Where's all the children laughter? Chink, rich, grand, and children ghosts have always been the creepiest ghosts, because you're like, what does a children have to do with being a ghost? But then you think about it, it's like any ghost kind of story thing, like, ghost of unfinished business. Well, I'm a child, and I was brutally murdered here, and now I'm going to freak people out because I'm lonely. 
Also, I'm a dick because I'm a child and children are dicks. Yo, what up? You're not even drinking coffee. Are you just depressed? I'm going with you're just depressed. Fuck you, Breen. One of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. What's going on out there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That ain't good. One of us. No. There's more of that. Yo, what up? Alright, I'm going. Taking your TV. Not have a TV no more. Oh, dropped it. Whatever. No, this gets really urgent really quick. But granted, I'm pretty sure they have me on file and stealing this TV. Don't out the window. And so when they saw goateed wearing motherfucker with glasses on, that like looks like he's about to whoop some ass. Also, granted, I kind of came in during like a raid, but I do think that they knew who I was. And then seeing that I was getting dragged off somewhere like that, the thing was getting turned off. And you'll see here in a moment what I'm talking about. Who's shooting at me? Oh, that guy. No, 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 no. And that's pretty cool. Nice flyovers. There's wind pushing buckets around. Drop ship, drop gun. Those gunships, not drop ships. Yeah, those gunships. And then there's the combine like tank vehicle. Which is somewhat reminiscent of the uh, Nazi uh, track, I guess, carriage thing, sort of. Um, just kind of weird little things. Yeah, whatever, let's get going on. I know you don't want to like sit here and watch me walk on planks and get the story going. No, oh, oh, uh, ooh, um, oh, god, no, 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 never going to run away from this. It's all white. Oh, hey there, pretty lady. No, I'm not Dr. Freeman. You presume wrong. Yeah, they're like the United States. We're lazy, but once we get rolling down a hill, our girth just kind of crushes things. Yeah, that's kind of how the Resident Cascade happened. You just kind of like, you know what? Computer are exploding. I don't think we really should do this. Eh, sure eh whatever. The G Man and the administrator wants us to do it. Man of few words, aren't you? Yeah, I'm I'm a mute. Not very nice. Uh, I got you a present. These things are heavy. How do you pick them up so well? I don't know, maybe they're lighter than I think they are, but I picked up drums like this and I don't remember where we're gonna pick them up that easily. God Fucking... <sighs> you know, I was doing so well. After that lovely interruption. Uh, that's why you should always put yourself on offline mode when you're doing recordings. Turn off your goddamn phones, because I've done this like three or four damn times. Uh, and I'm not starting over again because I've been having such a good roll. I really hope Corey just doesn't. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab. Whatever. Today we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Here, let me buy you a drink. Yeah, because I never met you before either. You think I'm dumb? All the skin? All the skin, lady. <gasps> Buttons press. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello, Alice. Well, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... Oh, my goodness. Gordon? Yes. 
We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman. Like Freeman, because he's a jerk. It happens. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass. God, an interruption that really just threw me off the ball. It wasn't for like the fifth millionth time trying to do this. I would. I would redo it. Whatever. I'm just gonna rewatch it. See if I can salvage it. If it's not salvageable, I'll redo it. That's right, Bonnie. This is a better day. Pay attention more instead of just hopping around and doing stuff. Yeah. Working for real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. Yeah, cats are pretty scary. We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his sizzles. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. Beep. <clears throat> Here we go. Ah, damn it, get it off, Freaking head hopper. Humper. Head humper. We got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's debeaked and completely. Yeah, I don't believe you. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head. Fruitless. Yeah, that must be weird. Yeah, my pet. So wait, you have that thing get on your head? That's you are a weird, weird person. It'll be another week before I can coax her out there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. Yeah. You're not an animal person. It's a watermelon, because they love watermelons. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. It's amazing how well that gets on me. Hmm. The glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. What does it say? Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. I don't know. At least get that suit you stuff, Gordon. Good idea. Last one was Mark IV, this one's Mark V. <sighs> Ooh, wall juice. Mmm, combined. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, let's let's do that. Do you notice the uh, artifacting along her uh, seams? Doctor Klein is waiting. All right, yeah, Doctor Klein is waiting. You know, it's kind of weird to think that um, their clothes are part of their body. Say one five parameter, everything's in order. See, this is how shit starts. Didn't we learn a lesson last time? Now, are they sending this over cable? Alright, it's plugged in. Please climb up and start the rotors. Now, the scene protective laser rays. See, this is just like last time. Let's hope this actually works. Kind of neat. Now, do you think that was a wireless transmission or to send it over a wire or what? I have no idea. Well, did it work? Speak for 
relief is almost palpable. Fantastic. Mm, palpable. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon to me. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. Hey, you're just jealous I went to MIT. Gee, thanks. Look at your stubble. This is when all hell breaks loose, as we know with me and technology. See, they think they would have learned something. Is when Gordon shows up, shit's about to go down. Maybe they know that secretly, and they're hoping, hoping that he's the one. Great, there's the head hopper. Look how that broke. Great. <gasps> He got a birdie. Batman? How do you not recognize me? Going back to Green's office. Or am I? No, I'm back over here. Now I'm back in Green's office with Slug Monster. Hmm, not Jordan Friedman. This is terrifying. It's kind of weird how that was there. Yeah, oh, I'm I'm stuck in this weird uh, thing. Oh, why are y'all here? Fuck you. No, no, you're not blinding me. Alright. Well, I guess I've been your host, Captain Wimble. Thanks for watching, and have a good time next time on the next time on Half-Life 2. Play through episode 1, I guess. Hopefully there won't be any more distractions. Alright, thank you for watching.